Coffee is the second most traded commodity in the world after oil. Although enjoyed all over the world, the industry is known to be highly unethical because the cost for production for coffee is higher than the price to which it is sold. Bean Bay is a direct fair trade coffee company in Johannesburg and they import the top 2% of high quality coffee from small scale farms across Africa. Uh, roasters essentially of fair trade African coffees. So these are you know, single origin coffees. So we get coffee from uh, Ethiopia, Kenya, Tanzania, Rwanda, Burundi, and the DRC. So we work exclusively with um, African small scale farmers. And then we uh, buy really exceptional quality coffee. So any of the sort of top 2% of uh, coffee available on the planet. So for me, what fair trade uh, means is it's, it's just about paying people what their product is worth, it's not charity. You know, for me it's not just about how we pay our farmers, it's about like how do we pay our staff, how do we treat our suppliers, how do we price our coffee to our customers, so is, um, how do we you know, mark up our products, is there fairness in there, you know, so that if you look at our business um, there should be fairness across it and I think to me I think it's a good way um, of operating. Um, and obviously there's so much need in South Africa for employment um, and so a lot of the people that come through the Bristol Training School are people who don't, uh, you know, are looking for employment um, and will take one a sort of a career Bristol course of uh, a three-day sort of intensive course. So I joined been there around 2009 as a barista. So I worked as a barista I think two years and then after two years I started learning how to roast from a guy called Seppo. And then uh, in 2011, I took over and then started roasting full time. For Jonathan, running a business is about the planet, people, and profits. The key is finding a balance between all these elements. A big part of being this culture is recognizing and respecting the process and the people that contribute to the success of the business. Yeah, the roastery walls are full of. Um, incredible um, pictures of farmers and uh, you know, not cups of coffee. It just spe you know, speaks to us of the adventure aspect of our business. We're you know, really focused on um, trying to make sure that, um, that our customers understand that uh, you know, Africa is the birthplace of coffee. All the coffee in the world originated from this continent. I think, uh, Ethiopia for me is the most forgiving coffee. Also one of our most popular coffee, our best selling coffee. Ethiopia is the biggest exporter of coffee on the African continent. They also, though, consume 50% of the coffee they produce. So they drink half of their own production. So they are a coffee culture, probably more than, possibly more than anywhere in the world. The whole coffee ceremony, which is a slow process of like roasting the coffee, grinding the coffee, brewing the coffee, serving the coffee, which takes a long time, is really what this whole connection of coffee is about. You, you should enjoy and be, be delivered great coffee in this space from a smiling barista in a beautiful space that we love. Um, but the walls and the pictures hopefully help to remind you of where the coffee came from and who you have to thank for it. We're concerned as I think as human beings as to you know, how a product was produced and who produced it. Oftentimes people like would go back and say well you know it's the Italians you know the Italians invented coffee and the espresso machine and the cappuccino and whatever and they own coffee culture and whatever that's sort of the impression that you get of Italy doesn't grow any coffee so there's this whole mindset that I think that people have incorrectly around you know where coffee you know where coffee started from and it is an African product. I, I think I do play a big role here at Binde in terms of how our coffee tastes. When it comes to how we roast our coffee we, we trust our coffee so that's why we roast it uh, we roast it medium. We don't we don't want to hide any flavors by roasting our coffee duck. And, um, and then it's uh, hugely in the hands of the barista. Um, I mean, if you're here early in the morning, you'll see you know, the process of setting up, setting the grinder. Uh, we've got scales where we do brew ratios to get the, exactly the right extraction of the coffee. The coffee needs to pour perfectly. Um, and when you get that right, you know, the, the volume, everything is weighed and measured and everything. Because what we're trying to do is get repeatably good coffee. You know, the world has Africa to thank for the fact it can wake up in the morning. Like we wake up, the world wakes up because of Africa. And our staff have been there, have been able to convey this love for coffee, the story of fair trade, um, and their love of coffee in, in a sort of a combined package. I think that probably brings me the most, the most joy.